Hey guys, it's Cat here at the DigiCat Hideout. And today I thought I would do a quick little tutorial on how to install and play ClanGen. You might have heard of it, it's just um, a small little fan game based on the Warrior Cat book series. But it basically lets you generate your own clan of cats and you get to follow them along in their daily clan lives and see how they fare in the wild. It was originally made by someone on Tumblr, but it has been um, picked up once again by a very large team of people, and it has been receiving tons of updates. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how exactly you how exactly you can play, and I can have the original Tumblr linked below if you want to check that out. And I can also have the link to the game itself linked in the description. So there's three different versions of the game. The first version is just the online version. So this one, there's no download needed. So if you're not able to download the game, let's say you don't have enough room or whatever, you can just go on the web version and you are completely free to play. There's some settings you can adjust, and then you're able to play your clan. However, the uh, the web version is farther behind in updates and doesn't get updated as often. So if you want to play the newer released version, then you will have to download the game. So if we go back to their website, in order to download the game, so we just have to scroll down here, ignore these three links here. This one is just to the Discord server if you want to engage with the community. But we scroll down here and they have a few different download links for us. You just have to find the one that is for your operating system. So for me, I'm running on Windows. And this will work for both Windows 10 and also Windows 11. So now that that's installed, you'll have to extract it. So for that, you'll need an application like either WinRAR or 7-Zip, which I can show you real quick how to install WinRAR. So we just go to its site, which I'll have linked in the description, and find which version of WinRAR you will need. So if you want um, a different language, they have other languages. And then there's also different ones for different operating systems. So we'll just go ahead and go with this top one here. And then once that finishes downloading, you can go ahead and open it. And then it'll ask you where you want it to install to. And then all you have to do is hit browse and choose a folder where you want it to be installed to and then hit install. And then that will go ahead and install it for you, and you will then have WinRAR installed. But anyways, back to ClanGen. What you'll have to do is right-click on it, scroll down to WinRAR, and extract it. So you can extract it to a specific place. I'm going to go ahead for this video, just extract it to here. And then we have this folder here that you can go ahead and open open this one, and then we can scroll down and find the clangen.exe. And then that's pretty much it. The game is now installed. You can go ahead and go through and customize any settings you want. Whenever you first open it, it won't be in full screen mode, but all you have to do is hit toggle full screen, the game will close, and then whenever you open it again, it will be in full screen. You don't have to worry about updating the game at all because it will auto-update. However, there is one other version of ClanGen. If you want to, let's say you want to see the features that the developers are still currently working on and they're not out for release yet, you can get the dev version of the game. So for this download, you'll have to go to the GitHub website which again, I will have linked below, or you can get it from that original link, and you'll have to just ignore all of this and scroll down. Again, it'll give you a link to the Discord and the original itch.io page, and then it has downloads for 
the different operating systems. I'll go ahead and do Windows. So now once again, same as before, we're going to extract that. And then uh, this time we have another folder to extract. And now we have FlanGen. So one other thing for the dev version, there's certain settings that there are all features that are in the game, but they're not, you have to enable them yourself. So for example, the nutrition feature, in order to enable that, you will have to go up here and search game and open up um, game underscore config.json. So for this, you will need an IDE software. So for me, I have Thonny, which I can go ahead and quickly show you how to install that. So it's pretty simple. You just go to the website and download for Windows or of course, whatever operating system you're using but then you go ahead and open this exe and it will walk you through the installation process. But I'm gonna go ahead and exit that because I already have it installed. And then we can go back to doing the game config. So we open with Thani and then all you have to do is, so this first one here, it'll say fresh kill. So all you have to do is select right along this false, delete that, and type in true. And that'll make it so you, you'll have to collect food for your cats, and your cats are also able to die if they don't have enough food. There's also, you can enable activate events. That's totally up to you if you want to set that as true or not. If you do set it as true, I would recommend saving your game a lot more often because it can occasionally crash your game. But just save that and you will now have the nutrition feature enabled. But as you can see here, there's a nutrition status. So you can see that the feature is indeed enabled. So that's a quick way to see if you did it correctly. If you didn't do it correctly, then this nutrition status will not be here. But anyways, I hope you guys found that guide helpful. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and I will try my best to help.